Okay, 1997 Toyota Avalon. This is the vehicle that we did the solenoid testing on yesterday. And uh, what I want to show today is how to test the computer driver and how to make sure the control wire has no opens and shorts. What's important when you do this kind of testing is know your circuit design. We know that this is ground side switched. We determined that yesterday. Uh, it can also be done with a wiring diagram. So our T-pin is already installed into this connector and we're on the control wire which was the bottom black and white trace wire on this connector and what we have is a connect uh, we have a test light connected to battery positive so you can see when I touch a ground that uh, my test light is lighting and um, when you'd want to do a test like this would be if the vehicle comes in and the solenoid is either a melted from some type of fault maybe it was uh, too close to an exhaust manifold or, or something happened that the solenoid shorted out and you know it needs a solenoid but your concern is that the computer driver was damaged in the process and this is something you'd want to know up front with a customer's car you wouldn't want to just sell them a solenoid only to have the vehicle come back with a check engine light and have the same exact trouble code and now you, you're going to sell them an engine computer so you'd want to know that up front so this is absolutely necessary in that kind of scenario um, of course we can do voltage checks on the solenoid itself to see if there's activity on the control wire ground side switch we should have the circuit being pulled to ground we can use a scope use a voltmeter but again the scenario here that I'm trying to show would be let's say the solenoid's dead and you can't use it so you need to make sure the driver's okay if that solenoid sorts out it could definitely take the driver out so I have a test light connected to battery positive again and this is a ground side switch solenoid so I'm on the control wire which we know is going to be a pulsed ground and I'm going to take the scan tool in a bi-directional mode and I'm going to turn it on. Um, if this isn't available there's other ways to do it. Some cars don't offer bi-directional controls. Fortunately for us this one does. I am in a bi-directional mode and I'm going to turn this solenoid on. And you can see as I turn the solenoid on that it's it's actually flashing on and off. Uh, this is a pulse width modulated solenoid. Uh, that's not really important for this test. What's important that you understand is the fact that that test light is lighting. Here, let me turn it off. I'll turn it back on again. The fact that that test light is lighting tells you that the PCM driver is okay and it tells you that the control wire circuit integrity is okay and if your solenoid is not functional, go ahead and put a solenoid in it. No worries of a comeback. So that is doing control wire testing with a test light, checking computer drivers, section three of my book. Check it out. No worries of a comeback. Seems like a promise.